Hello viewers, this is Jitendra Grover, Research Scholar, ATS Montreal, Canada. And this is my first uh, uh, career counseling conversation with Sarath from Kerala for this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, to give you a bit of background, Sarath has completed his uh, B.Tech in Electrical Engineering and has secured a job in TCS. Uh, he has a dream of doing MS uh, degree from uh, outside India. So uh, I tried to help him out in uh, achieving this dream. Uh, you can share this video with anyone who has a similar dream of doing a research degree from outside. I hope this video will help. Without delaying further, uh, let's uh, hear the conversation. Thank you. I was as a graduate of electrical engineering. Uh, right now, I have been recruited by an IT company. So, uh, should I uh, continue? Like, and my final goal is to go abroad for a, a master's. So, should I join TCS? Uh, means there was that IT company, which is TCS, uh, for a job. And alongside, try for master's, or should I drop TCS for, for now? Uh, see, the my personal opinion is uh, uh, TCS is not your core company and when you will try to apply for uh, your MS uh, outside India, then uh, you will have kind of split uh, uh, experience. So one experience is your graduation and graduation is in electrical and another experience is your IT. So while applying, you cannot show both the experiences together. And so whatever you will do during this one year or so while you are uh, preparing for your uh, uh, MS abroad and uh, 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 everything, so they won't gel up together. So uh, your family, your friends uh, may not suggest or may not agree with this, but uh, my suggestion is uh, you should go for a startup may not be paying you really good. It may be paying you 10, 12, 13, 15,000 only may need uh, may ask you to work really really hard in in their company because startups uh, kind of they ask for so, so much of work they pay less there are good startups yeah. as well with so much of funding and they may give you so much of uh, 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 means kind of huge salary as well maybe competitive salary to tcs but it will be a great learning for you one then uh, it will count as an experience while you will you will be applying for uh, for ms outside and third you will be able to make projects that will uh, be missed they will be the part of your experience but there can be individual projects that you can show that i have work on so and so things and there is scope of so and so improvement in particular part of your electronic uh, things that you can say that this is my proposal of improving this project so okay. you may not uh, need to work on uh, your proposal uh, uh, when you kind of uh, apply for ms they may have different projects they may have prof professors may have uh, uh, different fundings different projects everything is uh, quite ready for you but your proposal just show that uh, you have ability to think beyond uh, uh, just, uh, just kind of uh, already cooked up thing. So this will show that uh, you have ability to have uh, to do research, to think beyond whatever is already presented to you. So you are uh, able to think beyond a developer. So I feel that going to a startup is a better idea. You may join TCS right now and keep searching for uh, another job like uh, in a startup. So meanwhile, if you get uh, a job in startup, you will be learning so much more. And this experience will count you, count with you, uh, count for you, and uh, it will help you a lot more. So this is my personal advice that you should go for a startup thing or, or any company which is working in electrical. Okay. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, this is the doubt I have. I have always had in my mind, like, uh, while applying for masters in electrical engineering, uh, does the experience of working in an IT firm add any special value? Like, 
uh now there is one more thing uh, like uh, i don't know uh, whether you are aware or not uh, so uh, one thing i also want to add in my previous point don't leave okay. this job until unless you get another job so don't okay <laughs> don't be like okay i have confidence and i will get something uh, it it may not happen in in this uh, period so yeah. be re- be really sure that uh, uh you are going to uh, get a job then you are leaving tcs and don't don't uh, okay. just do it in in means kind of uh, don't make a hasty decision of just uh, leaving your job and i will get something don't do that uh, now okay. uh, while coming to tcs experience there are many universities which, which have uh, degrees like electrical and computer science so at many yeah. places electrical and computer science go hand in hand so if okay. you can target uh, something like uh, smart grid hmm. so that's a uh, one field that really inspires me like uh, that's one kind of projects that i would like to work on like i like uh, in while considering electrical engineering electric vehicles and smart grids these are the two fields which i love to uh, go for my uh masters like i think okay. you got if if you if you are going to work on smart electrical systems just like smart grid smart grid is, grid is a buzzword if you make a proposal for smart grid and you have command on uh, artificial intelligence machine learning uh, coding those things all those skin, skills uh, are there with you you have background of electrical engineering and if if you can propose something may not be really great but sufficient enough to kind of uh, get the attention of any professor that you know something about smart grid and you are able to work on smart grids or something like uh, maybe uh, uh, this uh, what do we call this uh, smart energy appliances smart energy okay so uh, this uh, uh, unconventional method of generating energy so if you can go to any of those fields which can help in uh, kind of it, which has involvement of both electrical engineering and computer science so if you can merge both of them and it is really much possible because uh, these days it is more about software rather than about hardware so you have background yeah. of hardware electrical and if you get knowledge of if you can show that you have knowledge of software as well now this mix uh can get you a great ms as well so you can okay. think to this point as well when the word smart comes this smart word always have coding in it it this okay. word has yeah. ai machine learning in it so if you can learn oh, okay. python if you can make uh, a few smart projects may not be really big if you can collaborate with someone who is working on some smart projects uh, or smart startups if you can join okay. a, their kind of a uh, startup help them building something smart meters help them building something like this uh, it's always a plus even if you can't find such a startup who is working on smart uh, uh, projects or smart equipments still if you have uh, experience of uh, electrical engineering and if you have experience of uh, uh, this uh, computer science so both can club together and uh, make uh, one package for you and you can prepare okay. a proposal in uh, kind of two or three months before uh, you are going to apply for your uh, ms so okay. everything together if you plan properly it can work for you even tcs can work for for you you have you have one benefit while going to C- tcs that benefit okay. is tcs doesn't overburden you with the things Uh, yeah. that's the main reason why i plan to join these as itself like yeah. it's one of the uh, it companies which won't burden you yeah for sure though so this this will be kind of really good for you that uh, you will have time to do things and you will have time to plan for everything that can help you in uh, applying uh, for for uh, for your ms abroad so one more thing you you should have kind of two or three projects ready and uh, this right now i have two projects one of that is my mini project and one is my main project uh, uh, will those be of any much value like other uh, main project will be the main thing but uh, adding a mini project from my uh, btech 
is okay. it useful uh, so so yeah everything will be useful means uh, uh, for increasing the number but uh, uh, while applying for ms uh, it's more about quality and it's more about uh, kind of having everything in line with the application uh, means uh, with the professor you are applying for so okay as i had my field edge computing and when i wrote in subject i want to do phd in edge computing so it actually caught the attention of all the professor and to support okay. uh, uh, this application i had publications in edge computing so just saying doesn't help you need to prove that uh, yes you have caliber of uh, doing those things and you have done something earlier as well so what i will suggest okay. you that uh, uh you should start implementing one paper one paper that attracts you maybe in uh, smart grid maybe in smart energy maybe in smart solar systems maybe in anything smart which which kind of attracts you which is uh, uh, so even you, though i'm graduated uh, i should be doing some kind of project is that what you're saying uh, not not some kind of project take a paper take a research paper whatever is there in that research paper implement that thing that's it okay just regenerate that research paper okay yeah it doesn't matter whatever you have done is already done by someone else okay it just shows that you have interest in reading papers and you can do the stuff Okay. Take okay. any latest paper of 2019, 2020, whatever someone has already done, already implemented. So you can just take the entire idea, implement okay. the entire idea, and based on so that. So implementing the project just on software or the hardware implementation also. I don't know whatever will be there in those projects. If they are smart projects, okay. they may be maybe all. about uh, software so it may be all about okay. managing one product one grid which is going to direct uh, electricity from here or there or whatever so it is your yeah. you, you will understand this better so it may be complete software project it may be some firmware firmware project where you require uh, some small uh, some equipment like raspberry pi or something uh, that is going to handle things smartly you may require a bigger uh, hardware maybe a pc to manage everything so your requirement yeah. may be different that project may be different i don't know what you are going to pick out of uh, the lot uh, okay but whatever you are going to do one it should be really a buzzword because buzzwords always attract attention of professors so edge computing it attracted 5g it attracted then uh, cloud computing okay it may attract uh, a few professors and uh, maybe 6g if someone is working in 6g software defined networking or means any anything that is latest that is upcoming iot those things means anything which is upcoming always will attract uh, the professor they are going to open your mail so okay good if you are going to say like uh, i want to do research in something something really old means something outdated so they are going to say uh, uh, means there are hundreds such applications we are not going to open these applications so these are not, yeah. these are good for nothing so these buzzwords these uh, latest projects they always at least make your email open by the professor so this is always okay. a great help uh, when you are kind of applying for some research degree the first challenge is to make your email open the to make the professor read your email so that is the first okay. challenge while applying for a research degree so make sure that you have something smart in your with your electrical systems smart grid or whatever projects we had we have discussed we may you may have a list and we can pick that this is uh, an upcoming te te technology and uh, you should go for this particular thing we can discuss uh, about this Uh, but uh, you need to make a list you need to make uh, you need to find publications latest publications from the professor uh, if i can share the screen with you let me show you something okay uh sports uh, uh pro 
profiles equal so you can find out profiles from uh, the yeah. professors how you can write the keywords smart grid let's find which are the professors working in smart grid so these are the professors working in smart grid and this kind of systems open the profile of uh, the professor okay and now this will show you what this will show you okay this guy in 2020 published papers on this particular thing i don't understand what yeah. it is you may be yeah. able to understand after reading something so how so validation of power electrical loads smart uh, energy system designs so these are the systems uh, this guy is working on you can pick up yeah. a, this is a case study so you can pick up you can find out the latest paper by making it bit of yeah so these are the latest papers uh, you can uh, kind of find out and uh, you can see what people are working on right now there okay. can be other professors as well let's go to another professor sir how can i find uh, this professor's email id just uh, these uh, these are famous people so just search this name and one thing is uh, go to their home page we should okay. we should show his email id okay this is not right uh, wait a second or simply search uh, this name online okay. and this is the university here you are you will find the email id this is the email id okay fine okay thank you sir right okay. now you don't require the email id and uh, this is another big topic i have already made one uh, i did one webinar on on this yeah yeah i had attended that webinar so you can have a list of professors before applying so this is uh, not uh, today's things for one year or so you, you are going to work you are going to build your profile that that we can discuss yeah. later on how you are going to do suppose this professor is there and this prof professor is working on cyber physical systems iot is smart grid so such for smart grid these are the people who are working on smart grid so uh, this professor is from university of toronto uh, in canada so let's okay, talk yeah. about this professor uh, sort the papers with the with year and now what is the latest research he has done small okay. signal stability and power system oscillations uh, i don't understand this you may be able to so whatever mm -hmm. system she is working on whatever his latest research will be here so go through to 5 10 different profiles and you will be able to see that uh, the major yeah projects major project what people are doing pick up one project yeah. one particular thing and just try to implement it you can uh, uh, kind of find out uh, the list of projects that you can work on find out uh, one particular field that you are going to focus on it may be smart grid it may be uh, smart energy things so after picking it just stick to it and and you make sure uh, while planning while taking the decision just make sure that it is the upcoming field so after making sure okay. start working on it and uh, when you start working on it then okay don't stop uh, just implement at least one big project and suggest how you can improve that particular project further beyond that paper so someone has already done that work you have also implemented the work now you are in a situation to kind of suggest there can be so many other changes that will make that project further uh, better so okay at least you will have a proposal like that that this can be improved in so and so ways this way okay. you will have one project at least big project it may have different small parts that you can show as uh, small projects and one big project and one proposal as well at the end of that project so you need okay. not to have multiple things okay okay your one big one quality project have, is enough yeah that's that's enough and it may lead to one publication as well another okay. if someone is working in phd already on the smart uh, in smart projects maybe in your college in your university nearby or maybe anywhere else because now everything is online 
you can find uh, yeah. the scholars anywhere in the world and these research Sir, how can i uh, find this kind of phd scholars like how can i request okay. like ask if uh, i can join them for projects like uh, when we discuss that these are the professors which are working on these fields go to the profiles of these professor these profiles okay. also have their students working on this particular project oh okay find these prof professors you may not find phd scholars but you may find phd professors okay these professors and they will have okay. students working under them so under you can, so you can approach these professors ask for uh, that you want to have you can help and you have interest in so and so things and you want to have uh, uh, you want to help uh, uh, your candidates in implementing uh, something and uh, your target is to get an ms outside india uh, under maybe under you as well so you can draft a mail like that uh, i can help you in drafting uh, such email so i already have a format uh, that i can uh, give you some idea like uh, it is like this so uh, if you are able to see can you send me a screenshot of this part to my whatsapp i i will send I'll send this to you and uh, you can send drop a mail showing your request and uh, then uh, hopefully one of them reply you with kind of uh, uh, getting you as an intern virtual intern maybe online so uh, okay. this is this is possible and uh, uh, another way is if someone is close to you like uh, uh, one professor Mm, maybe uh, from your university may have some link or some student who is working in the same area so you yeah. must approach all the professors in your department and show your interest in doing some kind of internship doing some collaboration some help to a phd student one may be able to help you in this as well so if you are helping an indian they may give you uh, one name in their paper so if you can have co-authorship of a paper it will be great if you have co-authorship of more than one paper you have great chance of getting accepted for uh, ms so oh, okay. the, the project you are going to help uh, that phd guy will also be a project the project you are going to do individually will also be a project so you will have okay. multiple projects and both of them can be in line so with some tweaking you you can have different uh, results and with some other tweaking uh, doing some other things you can have uh, different results that can be used by by that particular uh, phd student so uh, it's all about uh, uh, kind of uh, ma maintaining the quality and quantity both so uh, okay. phd students uh, uh, they hunt in pairs so my strategy strategy is to hunt in pairs so i go for okay. two things together because Uh, when you are doing something and you can have a branch as well published so you can have two publications out of one work in ms or phd st students usually uh, they work on something that is good then then they keep on tweaking to improve the results and uh, get extend uh, extension on their already built project so that is also possible so it's all about getting started and reach to a point which is publishable Okay, and keep on improving improving to publish more so uh, in triple it hyderabad uh, many students didn't have any publication for two years then in third year they have five six seven publications we oh. tweaking 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 because they had the material now it's all about publishing 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 bit more tweaking and publishing so it it goes like this. so first step is the major step so you need to make that major step deciding planning deciding and starting work, working on a particular research and paper and after that it's all about uh, just extension extension and extension so it will be lot easier at the end so if you have spent 8 months on something you didn't get any result don't worry about it in last 4 months you can have everything in hand so so this is my take on uh, how you should go Okay, fine. That's really helpful, sir. Yeah. Anything else uh, that I can help? Uh, not right now. Mm, I have 
now i have got some kind of plans in my mind so i'll try those some try them out and i will get back to you yeah if uh, for applying anything if you need any help uh, i will be there to help you so uh, if you need help in finding professors that i already showed how you can find uh, the yeah. professors if you need any help regarding uh, finding out uh, uh, emailing making proposal so i will be there okay. to help you i think i uh, definitely need your help on doing those like uh, yeah. make, drafting the email and those yeah that i have uh, spent quite some time in uh, drafting my email or uh, drafting proposals or uh, drafting cover letters making our cvs there are so okay. many type of cover letters each for uh, for each type of cv mm, if i am applying for iot i had different cover letter and cv if i was applying for uh, sdn i had different cv if i was applying for some other field machine learning or something i had different cv and cover letter so there were so, so many type of uh, uh, so many type of letters if i can show to you like uh, yeah you have shown me that on your uh, that webinar which you took yeah so like this yeah so there are so many so so many cover letters so that's how i could manage uh, all the all the applications separately and every application okay. was really individual so just keep in mind while applying to someone don't send a generic mail uh, which doesn't uh, refer the person with name always start with okay. their their name so dear professor da 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 like this okay so always start with their name if you don't spend time on that professor they are not going to spend time on your particular application yeah so that's a true simple fact. equation so these are these are small things which makes uh, which make a lot of difference while uh, we apply and then we then people say that uh, we don't get uh, we don't get any responses from the professor because you spent just 5 seconds on that professor so that professor also spent 5 seconds on you it is simple equation so yeah so just be careful yeah just be careful while applying Uh, so uh, so should i start uh, like uh, doing some of the preparation for i must like drafting the email uh, making the cover letters and uh, sop those kind of steps should i start doing them from now no 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 when you are ready with okay. the material when you are ready with everything so you are mentally ready next step is have something to show have some masala to show okay when you have that okay. masala to show when you have something to write in that email you have project behind you you have uh, publication behind you and at least okay. you should have projects behind you if if okay. not publications if you have publications great if you don't have public at least have projects behind you to showcase that you have worked on something really useful you have worked on something okay. that is related to research you have worked on something that is extendable to research so Okay. have something in hand have some proposal in hand so whenever you are ready with all those things to present then go ahead and uh, it's it's just like uh, two or three days in getting all the email ids and two days to drop all the email ids uh, so i did uh, drop uh, 150 email ids in two sittings i guess so two continuous okay. days i dropped all the emails so hundreds of okay. emails i dropped uh, in two days and all the emails were different every email had different content means one okay. one entire section was different in all the emails one okay, thing was same but uh, first introductory part was different for all all the emails so i went to okay. the profile of all the professors picked out the papers which were related to the profile i was applying and wrote all those things and uh, then i applied individually to all the professors so it took time but i did it in one sitting so that is the job of 10 days uh, at last when, when you are going to apply okay okay fine uh, i think that's great for today yeah thank you sir for spending so much of your time yeah thank you so much uh, for your time as well and uh, agreeing to have recording uh, on zoom so thank you so much yeah. okay okay, okay. bye Wish you luck.
Okay, I'll get back to you soon. Okay. Ah, uh, no problem. Any time. <laughs> okay, sir. Bye. Always happy to help. Okay. Thank you so much. So that was a conversation with Sarath. If you also have any question related to uh, study abroad, uh, your immigration, or uh, you require any kind of uh, consultation regarding uh, your career or uh, any of such things, uh, or if you want to pursue a research degree outside or or any other uh, education outside, so you can consult me. Uh, my whatsapp uh, number is 9812380882 it's 9812380882 you can ping me any time and uh, we can have a talk thank you thank you so much please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button if you like the video and uh, uh, your comments are so valuable please uh, uh, comment if you have any suggestions or uh, if you want to say anything uh, if you want any other videos uh, uh, those suggestions are also really valuable so thank you thank you so much